Hello everyone, Zinu and Zimmy here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, last time, we found out a very disturbing secret, that we were Darth Revan. This time, we're still at Dreshde, and that's because... I might as well start this quest, if I've got all the criteria. Why should I do? No, I don't! Oh. Then this quest is even more glitched, which that's not good. Because I should be able to... Yeah, I should be able to access Juhani's quest. Known infamously as Threat from Zor. I'll talk about this quest in this episode. Oh, Alright, I haven't done that in this for some reason. Yeah. What kind of things you have to sell? Let me see your premium items. And this is very premium. We have some love support packs, which are really good. These three are too great, being honest. Stabilizer mask, which is actually pretty good. The Dominator gauntlets. On parallel strength. Verpine prototype shield. Adrenaline stimulator, which we can get. Uh, where is it? The Navaran regenerator. And the Regen plus two. Regen two. And really good stuff. All this gear. Blaster. Sif assault gun. Mandalorian assault rifle. All these grenades can be sold because they're not really going to be useful. Not anymore. Uh, this is just... No, this still has use. This still has one use. One use only. <laughs> this is pretty useful. This is not too useful, but its value is garbage. Might as well sell these. This is got one more use still as well. It's not a great use, but hey. Response pack. This is not too useful. This makes some stuff better. Oh, uh, that's really useful as well. But I'm gonna sell that because the stuff we're getting here is gonna be so much better. Uh, we can get rid of the light plating and medium plating and the heavy plating. And yeah, superior target computer is honestly better. So we might as well just get everything else. The energy shields are useless, the flame floor is useless. The stun ray is useless. And oh wait. Kakin chan awabakon. 
I miss your premium items because I accidentally went out. Uh, go through all that stuff we sold. And we will buy the Dominator gauntlets. Now just to look at our strength. Look at that. Look at that beautiful strength. But I believe if I am correct. I'm correct. We should have something in Yavin. Oh my god. You know what? Oh my god. Your wish? Hmm? No, I turned on solo mode for a reason. Because you guys are idiots. The AI got better at tracking in the second game. How may I? Yeah, no, we still don't have a way. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, really? I don't care. Jolie and Juhani. Oh. oh, come on. Stop saving. Because I believe it's either after this or after the last uh, the last star map where the very last thing we can get from Less upsets of change happen. I believe we talked to him. You are Pengti. You. Nope. It doesn't. So we'll have to actually go through. Getting, getting the last star map before we come back here. Guys, this is good for you guys. Because that means you should need to go here. Of course. Card from this, so I'm gonna at least talk about how I'm gonna decide who's going to come with me for the final thing in Corbin. I've thought about it. Oh my god. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of this. I thought about it for quite a bit. Incoming fighters! Honestly, the 
because of how the last area is going to be, there is only really two people that I feel will be effective in that area. And that's obvious. Well, there's only two three, but there's only two that are, are much better than the others. T3 is practically not going to be useful in Corbin, so we can't really use him. Karf's got his, has time to shine. Zolbar, I'll be real, Zolbar is going to get slaughtered. So is Mission. So that left, Candorus and HK47. And those two will be the ones I'll be bringing into the Corbin Sith Academy. But before that, you still have the Ordo Peating Rifle. Uh, yeah, we'll give you that. Uh, if, wait, I've still got a Junta Pal's Blade. Uh, we'll give you Chunder's Crossbow. Oh, I didn't even activate it? Okay. Yeah, you guys already know what's gonna happen, so... I'll do this off-screen. I still need to activate Juhani's. I'll activate... On, I'll activate that one on-screen. But yeah. These two, anyways, these two got picked because when we leave the, I forgot to get the spice again, spice again, unless he just keeps asking for it, which, go up, huh? I'm here. Really? You bloody morons. <sighs> Candorous. Some people don't like this game. It's probably the AI, if I'm being completely, brutally honest. If you've got anything you want to do in the tombs, do them now before talk to Master Ufar. So then, I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb of Nagasado. Your final test should not be delayed. I'm ready to go. Then we go now. We'll find out what the test is. A day passes in preparation. Euphra Vintage Shoe and Euphra to the Sith Tomb. Your companions are not permitted to join you. Make sure you you are ready. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed you have. I dislike your tone, you thorough. What are you up to now? Nothing, of course, my master. I was merely agreeing with you. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malik and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? 
Find the map. Trim with the lightsaber. Good. Euthora and I will await your return. Don't worry, you're lo not locked in here, but if you come in here, just do it. It's quicker. Now I've got some raids. Thankfully, these raids are toned down. Compared to all the beasts in here, these things are a joke. Especially when they get stunned. Now, if we go to the right, we get some skeletal human remains and the door. Get a D pad and the door locks behind us. And we have to fight two Terran Terrantatek. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Let's just say there's a reason why the Temple of Nagas Sato isn't exactly very well liked. It's probably the one tomb that you don't really hear people talking about. Try and speed it up. Oh, we might be able to. There we go. Let's check the skeletal human remains. And we'll get some crystals, which is good, because we'll need it. Now if we press that. Pillar of fire. Special fire grenade. Pillar of ice. Special cold grenade. We need the cold grenade. We don't need the fire one. I don't know why they decide to make this the way it is, but hey, well not even that's the worst part. The worst part is if you're trying to get everything inside the tomb, because there is one more puzzle, and it's the most annoying puzzle of them all, and it worse you probably want what's in here, especially for your dark side. First, let's get the human remains. We'll get the brack and save before touching the terminal because being real, we need to do this in a specific way. And I've actually got a guide of for this, because I hate this. Top. May transfer to any pillar safely without any fear of load. Upper middle. This can cause no load if transferred to a pillar with an active top system. Mid lower. This may only be safely transferred to another pillar that either has no systems or only the base system active. This system may only be transferred to a blank pillar with no systems activated or it will cause an overload. Okay. Move a system from the left pillar to the middle pillar. Left to right. Middle to right. Left to middle. Right to left.
right to middle. Left to middle. Be right back. Okay, back. Sorry for that. Left to right, I believe. Middle to right. Middle to left. Right to left. Middle to right, left to middle, left to right, middle to right, and there we go. There's the puzzle. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Idiot character. Okay, now we heal. And we want Nagasato's poisoned poison blade. This gear now, while it's not as effective as a lightsaber. I mean, it's a Sith artifact. Take a guess how effective it is in the right hands. Or in the wrong hands in the case of the dark side. Now, we have this. A dangerous looking pool of asses flooded the room. Don't launch the fire grenade at it. Launch the cold one. If you fire the, f fi the fire grenade, you're gonna blow up and die. Just like how that happened. Now, we get the final star map. Which gives us a slightly different cutscene. Interesting. Interesting. Now we get the Sith lightsaber, which is Basically, just a lightsaber being real. Now, there they are. And I'm going to do something I w wouldn't really do. But, because this is going to be a last Sith battle before the final dungeons. So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand, as I knew you would. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? I wouldn't say I exert myself getting this. Perhaps not to someone of your natural strength. The point is in the recognition of the nature of the act, rather than its sheer difficulty. I think I understand. 
The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. No. It is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Oh, is this true, young one? You wish to join Euthora in her foolish scheme? <laughs> I love you can do this. Sorry if I... I'm with you for Do you one. hear that, my master? That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So the time has come, has it? You both wish to stand against a Sith master and perish, do you? Then so be it! Uh, let's just say Uber is a joke unless he's actually working with Yufura. Yufura! Don't stand there! Why are you letting me be murdered? There we go. Oh my god. I finished, and a new order is brought to the Academy. Excellent. Unfortunately for you, I don't intend to share power. It's time for you to die. But I don't want any power. I would ever believe that. Defend yourself if you dare. <laughs> yeah, no matter what, you have to fight both of them. So you might as well just take an easy one. Unless you're really confident in your abilities. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. I yield. You are too strong for me. Gather your hatred and strike me down if that is your will. Go on. Get As out I here. thought, you are no Sith. A real Sith would have no hesitation in striking me down. That's right. I'm no Sith. And I'm glad of it. Then I hope you got what you came to the Academy for, whatever that was. I was right the first time back at the Cantina, wasn't I? There is something strange about you, more so than I even suspected. Your path leads elsewhere to a destiny I can only guess at. Whatever it is does not involve joining the Sith. Not yet, at least. Go then. Go and leave here. I'll not stop you. You can have her switch sides. However, we need enough charisma to get that information. If we do not, we cannot make her turn her back on the dark side. It's sad, but really, that's a scary thing about the dark side. It's corrupting nature. Now, let's head back to the academy. Watch out for the Tukata. They will charge you on sight. Run 
Actually, what am I doing? Master speed. Well, it's going to be blurry. It's going to be quicker. Okay, so this only happens if you kill both of them, or if you're spare, or if you turn Euphira to the light side. Ah! HP. Okay, so I can probably show that in bonus episode huh? footage Ready. then. Which, yes, I plan to do bonus episodes. We should be able to do something in the training room that we couldn't do before. I'm gonna save because I don't want to actually use the spikes. that we are practically done uh, um, all right you two Oh my god! Huh? You two! Get here! Now! Our morons! You're the ones keeping us here! Why are we here? Just to goddamn suffer! Every night, I can't feel my leg because of you two. But with that, oh my god. It's usually not the slow. With that, we're heading to Yam 4 before we do anything else. But yeah, with the start for system, we're not going there. Because we've got one more thing we can do. And we'll also do Kendra's quest. I'll try and get Johanny's quest to activate while I'm also probably going to be gathering money. Money. Skill. We want to boost these two. Force immunity. Because force immunity is going to be a very helpful. Stasis field. Alright, we also. Force wave. Let's go.
and this one. And Trend Oceans. Force Persuade. Leave. Now. No, we're not going to do that. Because honestly, these guys do give off some good gear. Want to beast them? Want to beast them? Want to bass them? I will be your doom! Take that! Now let's level up ourselves and get some computer use. Because we're well, gonna need that. Not now, but later. And yes, I did put in some Dark Force powers. Oh my god. Trandoshans. Yeah, and he isn't joking. He has the mantle of the force. The mantle of the force is an item assembled by Suvan Tan for pieces found in the ruins of Ice Raccoon. This actually is a color crystal that has that. And we have the Heart of the Guardian, which is also that. What's up the heavy repeating blaster, which we're not really going to be using? I don't believe anything else he has is great. Oh, he has this, which is also great. But I believe he only has one of them. But he has a shield disruptor now. So, oh no, we do go where we have one of those. But it's like, yeah, no. We want those light side. Those light side. Those crystals, because they're really good. Juhani, out of the way. We want to gather everything they have. Because they have so many thermal detonators. Yet, I don't know why they have so many thermal detonators. Because the thermal detonators, while they're great, it's also a case of why would you buy this many? Plus, their credits are really useful. And if we sell them. <laughs> Like, just to show, we're almost enough to buy one of them. I'll probably buy Heart of the Garden, Guardian first. Yeah, this is partly... Yeah, this is the Poison Blade. Combine that with... Ah, uh, there's another sword, but I don't remember. Oh yeah, might as well sell... This because we've got the we've got Basilis. Uh if we Oh yeah. This is the best place to sell thermal detonators. Just sell. Uh why do I have a Sif Asophos assault gun? Alright. Inside. We can actually get both. If I'm clever. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, I'm not really going to use Telic Horde's Mask, but it's not giving us much. Oh, that might not be bad to sell. Yeah, I'm going to sell one of those. Okay. Alright, I keep. And, okay. Heart. Mount of the Guardian. Heart of the Guardian. Mount of Force. We actually have both of those! So, that's some congratulations for us there. And I will be changing these lightsabers into with those to, to show you. Because, God. I know it's DLC. DLC. Unless you're playing the PC or the Switch version, which, yeah, it isn't. But God, did they, I, did, did they not realize how OP this is? I'll make my, like, yeah, this is special properties it has on its own. Mantle of the Force. And now, if we can compare it to Juhani's, which I don't know if... Yeah, her light servers aren't on. So we'll have to probably go to... Let's go to Tatooine. Oh, really? Because I will... Because I was going to use Tatooine just because... Incoming fighters! There's two places. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go outside, and then we'll show off the slight difference in colour of Juhani these and my lightsabers. Move a little bit ways. Also, just to check. Yeah, no. Your wish. Yeah. Slightly, it's lighter blue. But with that, next time on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, we will either be doing Zor's Threat from Zor, or just continuing on the quest for the Star Forge. Hopefully the former, because I don't want to go through the headache of going through this game again and having to do all the quests again. This is Ina and Zuma, signing out. Huh.